Good morning. Frying fish. I know that everyone in this room has likely experienced the precious process of frying a fish. Ever fried a fish? Superb. Do you know that in a particular culture in Africa, men who master the delicate artistry of fish frying are considered brave enough for war and fit to marry the king's daughter? Yes, you heard me. I love food. And as a Nigerian woman, I spend averagely one-eighth of my time in the kitchen. But what has fish frying got to do with you, this distinguished audience of young African leaders? Today, I would love to share with you three invaluable lessons from the simple art of fish frying for any young person willing to solve the continent's toughest challenges. For the sake of my analogy, let's say that the fish is the problem you're trying to solve, the oil is the context in which you operate, and the fried fish, the outcome or change that you desire. So let's start. First, love the fried fish. Anyone who would go through the rigor of the frying process must cherish the absolute wonder of the fried fish at the end. To change Africa, you must desire her future more than you despise her failure. To begin, find a problem you truly believe you were born to solve, then passionately pursue that vision with everything in you and never ever lose a crystal clear picture of the outcome you were fighting for. In the words of Steve Jobs, the way to do a great work is to do what you love. And this is the very principle that will make my South African friend, Luleka, quit a high-paying mining job in South Africa to start an ICT program for rural children. Second, season the fried fish. The best of chefs know that the secret of delicacies is in their recipes. So if you want yummy fried fish, you got to season it before you begin. Whatever pressing crisis you're seeking to tackle in your communities, let me announce to you that passion will not be enough. Your long-term success will depend on grounded research, a strong action bias, multi-level partnerships, and the best global content. Now, so when you turn up to fix Africa, don't just bring your heart to the work, bring your head to it. And this is what Nelson Mandela calls the formidable combination. Show up with your best flavors. Show up with your best seasonings. Show up with your greatest expertise, your finest excellence, your deepest exposure, and your strongest insights. Bring everything you are to the table. And this is the very reason you all will leave the great work you're doing and the families you love to turn up all across America to sharpen your sword for the battle that is ahead. And for this reason, fellows, you deserve some accolades. Absolutely. Finally, and I love this one so much, fishes need hot oil to fry. Hot oil, not just oil. Believe me on this one, guys. To catalyze the evolution of new economies, new communities, and new world powers, you actually need the inefficient systems and the difficulties in your countries. Every industry must be agitated to reinvent itself. And this is the very concept of disruptive innovation. So if you carry a dream for Africa, don't wait for a better time. Don't waste your energy complaining about the blinding corruption. For example, snakes that swallow money in a country I know, or the infrastructural limitations of escalators that will not work in your local airport. Leverage new technology, leverage media, leverage alternative education, and leverage market forces to challenge yourself and to shake the system. Africa is waiting for you to rise because it desperately needs you today more than it has ever needed you. And I cannot commend enough the extremely impressive work of my brother from South Sudan, Maduk, who in spite of wars, physical disabilities, and life in a refugee camp, went on to Kenya to get a university education and has now returned to South Sudan to give a new lease of life 
to other people, especially those with disabilities. Guys, go for gold. Put your skin in the work. And don't forget to enjoy your fried fish. Thank you.